Roadmap planning in Miro enables teams to synthesize complex information, prioritize tasks, and track progress in one unified platform, enhancing overall productivity and focus. Let's see how it works using the Roadmapping Blueprint. The Blueprint is broken down into three sections, Context Overview, Worksheets, and Plan. The first section is set up to bring together all the strategic information that will help build the right context, including company objectives and a planning schedule. Fill those boards out ahead of time. They'll be important during team breakouts later. We'll return to the canvas from our product vision doc to bring in tables, diagrams, videos, embeds, and more. And any of these can be dropped onto the doc directly to rapidly complete the artifact. Now all of our teammates can easily follow this context in preparation for planning. This is a big deal. One of the common mishaps when road mapping is that we get lost in the details and forget the larger context. Having it all in one space will help to mitigate that. With the context set, the teams will need dedicated workspaces that roll up to create the larger plan. That's where these team worksheets come in. We don't want to lose the larger context as each team goes through their planning. Luckily, each worksheet already has synced copies of the company objectives from earlier but we'll also add a synced copy of the product vision doc and anything else that the team needs to plan well. Fantastic, we're ready to ideate and refine. With the right context at the ready, we'll map out our goals in this chart and run a quick voting session to determine our top priority goals for the time frame we're planning for. We'll move those goals to our project ideation frames and begin breaking them down into projects. What's great about Miro is we have the flexibility to be as broad or as specific as we need to be. For example, if our goal is to use this roadmap mainly as a tool to communicate with stakeholders, we would stick to a high-level overview, say the key initiatives, features, or problems we'll work on. On the other hand, if we want to use it for internal planning and organization, we could create a much more granular version just for our team by converting stickies into cards and breaking them down into specific tasks or action items. We can assign tasks using the people widget, update cards as needed, and convert them to JIRA or Azure for future task tracking once the roadmap is set. So at this point, we've broken down team goals into projects and determined our level of granularity so we can move forward with building our roadmap plan. We'll drag our project ideas to the table here to begin solidifying the roadmap. Notice the table will populate information that comes from the card, but we can adjust the table with all of the groups or columns we need. This can all be done in a live planning session as well as asynchronously for flexibility and enhanced collaboration. The blueprint maps out ways to share the plan across the organization. Individual team roadmaps are filtered views of a synced copy of the larger roadmap plan that lives here in a table or a timeline view. This creates a single source of truth, allowing updates with minimal effort and ensuring that the plan stays anchored to our latest strategy. These views are also displayed in the final roadmap presentation for visibility across the org in real time. Roadmapping in Miro supports both high-level strategic planning and granular task management, providing the flexibility needed to adapt to changing priorities and drive successful project outcomes. Mm -hmm.